Welcome to my channel, where we delve into the intricacies of personal finance to empower you with the knowledge you need to make informed investment decisions. Today we're exploring a powerful investment strategy that has stood the test of time, dollar cost averaging. What exactly is dollar cost averaging and how can it help you build wealth over time? Dollar cost averaging is a strategy where you invest a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, regardless of market conditions. This approach helps smooth out the highs and lows of market volatility, allowing you to purchase more shares when prices are low and fewer shares when prices are high. For example, you could invest $100 in an index fund every month for a year, or $500 in a stock every quarter for five years. But why is dollar cost averaging such a powerful tool for investors? Well, as the legendary investor Warren Buffett once said, the stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. Dollar cost averaging embodies this principle by encouraging investors to adopt a long-term perspective and resist the temptation to time the market. Over time, dollar cost averaging can help mitigate the risk of market fluctuations and potentially generate attractive returns. As the renowned economist Burton Malkiel famously stated, time is your friend, impulse is your enemy. One of the main benefits of dollar cost averaging is that it reduces the emotional stress of investing. Investing can be a very emotional and stressful activity, especially when the market is volatile and unpredictable. Many investors tend to panic and sell when the market is down or get greedy and buy when the market is up, which can lead to poor decisions and lower returns. Dollar cost averaging can help you avoid these emotional traps by making your investing process automatic and systematic. By investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, you don't have to worry about timing the market or reacting to the news or following the crowd. You can just stick to your plan and let the market do its thing. As Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, said, I will tell you how to become rich. Close the doors. Be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. By using dollar cost averaging, you can be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful without letting your emotions get in the way. Another benefit of dollar cost averaging is that it helps you build a disciplined and consistent investing habit. Investing is not a one-time event, but a long-term journey that requires patience, perseverance, and commitment. Many investors fail to achieve their financial goals because they don't invest regularly, or they invest too little, or they invest too late. Dollar cost averaging can help you overcome these challenges by making you invest regularly, sufficiently, and early. By investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, you can ensure that you are saving and investing enough for your future, and that you are taking advantage of the power of compound interest, which is the interest earned on your interest, and the magic of diversification, which is the spreading of your money across different types of investments to reduce risk and increase returns. As Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, and a renowned polymath who was a scientist, inventor, diplomat, writer, and entrepreneur said, if you would be wealthy, think of saving as well as getting. By using dollar cost averaging, you can think of saving as well as getting and build a strong and solid financial foundation for yourself and your loved ones. One of the drawbacks of dollar cost averaging is that it may result in lower returns in a rising market. As we mentioned earlier, Dollar cost averaging can help you buy more shares at a lower average cost and increase your returns over time. However, this is not always the case, and sometimes lump sum investing can outperform dollar cost averaging, especially in a rising market. This is because when the market is rising, you are buying fewer shares at a higher price, which can lower your returns. In fact, some studies have shown that lump sum investing tends to beat dollar cost averaging about two-thirds of the time assuming that the market has a positive trend over the long term. As Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon and one of the richest and most influential people in the world said, given a 10% chance of a 100 times payoff, you should take that bet every time. By using lump sum investing, you can take that bet every time and potentially achieve higher returns in a rising market. Another drawback of dollar cost averaging is that it may incur higher transaction costs and taxes. This is because when you use dollar cost averaging, you are making more frequent and smaller transactions, which can increase your brokerage fees, commissions, and other charges. These costs can eat into your returns and reduce your net profit. Moreover, when you use dollar cost averaging, you may also trigger more taxable events, such as capital gains, dividends, or interest, which can increase your tax liability. 
These taxes can also reduce your returns and affect your net worth. As Albert Einstein, one of the most brilliant and influential physicists of all time, said, the hardest thing in the world to understand is the income tax. By using dollar cost averaging, you may make the income tax even harder to understand and pay more than you need to. Now that you know the pros and cons of dollar cost averaging, you might be wondering how to use it. How can you implement dollar cost averaging in your own investing strategy? What are the steps and tips to follow? Here are some suggestions to help you get started. The first step to use dollar cost averaging is to choose your target security. This is the security that you want to invest in using dollar cost averaging. It can be a stock, a bond, a mutual fund, an exchange traded fund, or any other type of investment that suits your goals, risk tolerance, and time horizon. When choosing your target security, you should do your research and analysis and make sure that you understand the fundamentals, the performance, the risks, and the prospects of the security. You should also diversify your portfolio and avoid putting all your eggs in one basket. As Peter Lynch, a famous and successful investor, fund manager, and author who has written several best-selling books on investing said, know what you own and know why you own it. By choosing your target security wisely, you can increase your chances of success and reduce your risk of loss. The second step to use dollar cost averaging is to choose your fixed amount. This is the amount of money that you want to invest in your target security at regular intervals. It can be a percentage of your income, a percentage of your savings, or a specific dollar amount that fits your budget and your goals. When choosing your fixed amount, you should be realistic and consistent. You should choose an amount that you can afford to invest without compromising your other financial obligations, such as your bills, your debts, your emergency fund, and your retirement fund. You should also choose an amount that you can stick to for the long term without changing it based on the market conditions or your emotions. As Robert Kiyosaki, the author of the best-selling book Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and a renowned educator and entrepreneur said, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. By choosing your fixed amount wisely, you can ensure that you are saving and investing enough for your future and that you are making your money work for you and your family. The third step to use dollar cost averaging is to choose your regular interval. This is the frequency at which you want to invest your fixed amount in your target security. It can be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly depending on your preference and convenience. When choosing your regular interval, you should be flexible and convenient. You should choose an interval that matches your income cycle your expense cycle, or your investment cycle. You should also choose an interval that is easy to follow and to automate, so that you don't have to worry about missing or skipping your investments. As David Bach, the author of the best-selling book The Automatic Millionaire, and a renowned financial expert and speaker said, The secret to getting rich is to pay yourself first. By choosing your regular interval wisely, you can ensure that you are paying yourself first and that you are making your investing process automatic and hassle-free. By following these steps, you can reduce your risk, increase your returns, and make your investing journey easier and more enjoyable. If you found this video informative and valuable, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on personal finance and investment strategies. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest videos and join our community of empowered investors. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think of dollar cost averaging and how you use it or plan to use it. Thank you for watching.